town The cops just get the run around Wham bam, kapow, who's gonna help us now? Call the feds, the people cry and these bad guys got no alibi Is there a crime buster in the house? Call for Elliot Louse No baloney, this guy's no phony On ass to the bone Step on the gas map, trap that fat cat Al Capone The beatable, incorruptible, the untouchable Walks these streets at night The sirens wail and bullets fly We need a little justice now Call for Elliot Mouse We live in fear of cheese racketeers Reach for the sky But we've got tough guys on our side So kiss your pants goodbye Incredible Incredible Unbribable Unbribable The untouchable The untouchable It's Elliot Mouse In old cheese cargo Despite its impressive image, Cheese Cago was no longer the prosperous city it had once been. The hard-working citizens of Cheese Cago were continually menaced by a powerful gangster. His name, Al Catone. By using his gang of thugs and racketeers to carry out blackmail and extortion, Catone had cornered the cheese market and fixed prices to make himself a fortune. Money cheated from the citizens of Cheese Cago was used to bribe the highest officials in the city, including many police officers. With all the city's bigwigs and nearly the entire police force under his control, Al Catone was virtually immune from prosecution. Politicians, judges, reporters, and sports stars all got entangled in Catone's web of bribery. But the theft of a very important shipment of cheese was to have grave repercussions for the gangsters. For it was to bring about the federal mouse hole of investigation's decision to send its best agents to Chicago, Elliot Mouse, Gordon, and Mr. Wilson. And I was there on the spot to cover the breaking news. I'm Tino Barati, top crime reporter for the Chicago Tribune. They say news travels fast. Well, let me tell you, it travels fastest right here in the city police department. And you can be sure of this department's fullest cooperation, Agent Mouse. Now, what hotel are you staying at? Hotel huh? Gorgonzola. Very well then, gentlemen. I shall be in touch. Room 215, to be exact. Hello? Yeah, put me through to Mr. Catone's suite. Yeah, who is it? Yeah, hello. Is that you, Mr. Nitty? Yeah, what's up? I'm calling from the police station, and I've got a very interesting bit of information that Mr. Catone might want to hear about. That's nice. Don't move. That's perfect. Well, we're finished for today. Al Catone, friend of the common people. Now go throw those rags in the garbage and sell me. Okay, boss. Uh, that's a shame. I thought I looked swell in this outfit. What do you think, Scalise? Yeah, come on and sell me. You look ridiculous. Stop acting the clown and get that stuff off, will ya? Yeah. Don't worry. We can find that out. Thanks for the information. Come by when you want to pick up an extra ratchet of cheese. Thanks. Sini Caton. What is it, Nitty? Some fed by the name of Elliot Mouse is out to bust us, and I just got worried of where he's staying. That's great, Nitty. Why don't I just send Anselmi and Scoezy here to welcome him to the neighborhood? <laughs> Something sure stinks in the police department. Boy, I can sleep like a log. Yeah, it smells bad to me too, Wilson. So the sooner we get on with it, the better. Say, when are we gonna eat, Elliot? All this traveling around has really whetted my appetite. Your appetite doesn't need wedding, Gordon. You're always hungry. Me? Always hungry? What are you talking about? Excuse us, sir. We have three rooms reserved here under my name, Elliot Mouse. All right. Just wait a minute and I'll have a look, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, guys, you could hardly call this place the Stilton or the Ritz. I hope the food's better than the decor. Right, here are your keys. Now, these rooms have just been newly painted, so please don't go messing them up. Thanks very much, fella. Hey, this stuff's heavy. Ain't we gonna wait for the bellhop? Yeah, that's it. That's just about got it fixed. <laughs> now we just tie it off. <laughs> Those cops are sure gonna get a big bang out of it when they open the door. Yeah, <laughs> bang. <laughs> what are you doing? Shut up, you fool. Someone's coming upstairs. Hey, 
Just a minute. Wait up, you guys. Wait for me, will ya? They're coming. Yeah, that's them. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh huh? Not through the door, stupid. Out the window. Come on. To 11, to 12. Here, uh, Gordon, let me help you, huh? I'm weak through hunger and I need something to eat. Come on, you uh, idiot. Come on why, now. Why? Uh. Ah. Incredible. From what I've seen, there are at least 20 violations of hotel law on this floor alone. Ah. 215. Well, this is my room, guys. Ah. Huh? Ah! Get out! Ah! Hey, we got him, Scalise. <laughs> Welcome to Cheese Cargo. Huh? Whoa, 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 what was that? L loud bed bugs. <laughs> or a booby trap. Huh? What is going on? What have you ruffians been doing? <laughs> I love explosions. I knew my idea couldn't fail. Come on now, start the engine. We gotta let the boss know the good news right away. Hey, wait a minute. Come back here, huh? you hooligan. Huh? So your plan couldn't fail, huh? Move. Let's pay a call. Don't just sit there, you lame brain. Get after them. Who is going to pay for the damages? Hey, come back here! Ah! So where is it we're going? To the police station, Gordon. You think the police might have had something to do with that bomb, don't you? They're the only ones who knew where we'd be staying. Hit the deck! Look out! Uh, uh. Ha! Boy, that was close! Well, that didn't hold enough for long. We better keep moving. They're getting away, you moron! Come on, move! Stop wasting time! Uh, hey, look, Skellies, you pretty felt. Come on, get this car out of here before we drown! They're on our tail again. Better put your foot down. The pedal's already down to the floor, Gordon. Okay, Anselmi, we got him. Head him up the road. Ah, oh, they're gonna force us off. Not if I can help it, they're not. Come on, push him over the edge. Get rid of him. Hold on tight. nearly finished us that time. Wilson, Gordon, you guys okay? I'm okay, but there is something that'll make me feel a whole lot better. Yeah, yeah we, we know, know eating, eating a cheese, cheese sandwich. sandwich. So long, copper. These bad guys take their job seriously. Time they found out who they're dealing with. They got us pinned down, Elliot. That bridge could be our only hope. Cover me while I go to the other side and cut them off, Wilson. Wait, Elliot, I counted their shots. My calculations show they'll be out of ammo. Mm. Now! But now my machine gun's empty, Skeleti. Keep firing! Come on! Let's go! Seems like you calculated wrong. Hold it right there and drop your weapons. Mm. Miss, hold it, you're under arrest. Run, Wilson, Elliot needs backup. Hey, you guys can't get away. Who says so? I say so. Huh? Come on, they got us surrounded. What do we say to Mr. Cato? Just climb, stupid. Cheese and crackers, we nearly had them. Yeah, that's true, but at least we got them off our tail, Gordon. Yeah, but for how long, Wilson? Those guys ain't about to give up that easily. Yeah, you're right, Elliot. Welcome to Cheese Cargo. Cheers, guys. It's been quite a day. Yeah. First, the bad guys tried to put us out of action by planting a bomb in our hotel room. Then they tried to drive us off the road, which they succeeded in doing. And finally, they shot at us. Have I missed anything? So let's see. We got no office, no car, no friends, and nowhere to stay tonight. And if Gordon keeps sinking those cheese cocktails, we'll soon be out of money, too. You were saying something? Another one over here. We oui. Hello, boss. My star is strange but true. This ain't no fairy tale I'm telling you. 
So listen up, fellas, and listen good. Love made a rat out of me. It captured my heart only to tear it apart. Love put a spell on me. So let's get this straight from the start. What you get is what you see. Love made a rat out of me. I met a boy when I was sweet 16. He said that he'd always be good to me. Well, to my surprise, that boy lied. Huh? But he was the my, best. My, she really is beautiful. Make me cry. I've heard every line a thousand times. So listen and weep. You're wasting your time, sweet talking me. Don't need a judge or a jury. I'm pretty guilty. <laughs> love made a rat out of Boy, me. Sure I'm is. telling you, love made a rat out of me. I'm cute and I'm cool, but I'm nobody's fool. Love put a spell on me. I'm not saying this to be cruel. What am I saying? What you get is what you see. Love made a rat out of me. Love and me. Love made her out out of me. Wonderful. Bravo, bravo. This is the best cheese cocktail I've ever tasted. You just gotta give me your recipe. I'm so glad you like it, Monsieur. Oh. Bonsoir, Monsieur Nitti. You will have your usual table, no? Over by the stage? No thanks, Frenchie. I don't want a table. I come to get your order for cheese. So what'll it be this week? Well, you see, Monsieur, <laughs> if I may be allowed to explain... Huh, another rip-roaring night. <laughs> oh. Huh? Oh! Are you saying you won't buy our cheese? Oh, je suis désolé, monsieur, but these are difficult times, you know. If that big rat-faced louse thinks he can push my partner around, he's got another thing coming. Oh, oh, oh right, oh, cough it up! Oh. Where have you been getting your cheese from? Who's filling oh. you with fromage? No, 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 monsieur Nitti, we only buy cheese from you, I give you my word, honey. That guy is now starting to annoy me. Come here! Oh. Huh? What do you think you're doing? Deborah, my cheese heart, how's things? Oh, well, I was just discussing a little matter with an employee of yours. Pierre's no employee, he's a partner. Ah, yeah, sure, forgive me, my sweet cheese, it's my memory. <laughs> hmm. Well, my little fondue, your partner was just telling me that you do not require our cheese this week. Just a mistake. There's no mistake, huh? Nitty. Your prices are way too high. The prices are too high and the cheese quality is very low indeed. You know that could change if you wanted it to, my cheesecake. Mwah! Come in with me, why don't ya? Mwah! All the cheese in the city could be yours! Hey, now that guy's taking liberties. Mwah! 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 I'm sorry, Mr. Nitty, but I already Mwah! told you I don't Mwah! want your cheese. It just ain't good enough. And as a matter of fact, I think you Mwah! should have some of it back! Mwah! Where am I? <laughs> No one covers rat nitty in cheesecake. Urgh. Sorry about this, sweet cheese, but I ain't gonna be nice to you no more. Oh, I'm really heartbroken. Excuse me. Huh? Ah! Hey, don't you know it's bad manners to point a gun at a lady? Uh. Uh. That was dumb, mister. You don't know who you're talking to. Sorry, I forgot to introduce you. That was my good friend, Bull. So it'll probably be better if I confiscate this one so no one can get hurt. Yes, you wait, you schmucks. I'll be seeing you again. You can bet your life on it. You've got a rat's white. Go on. Yeah. 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 Oh. All right, you know where we'll be, cheese ball. Personally, I hate seeing good cheese wasted. That rat won't be bothering you again, miss. The name's Elliot Mouse. If you should be needing my assistance again, Thank just... you, Mr. Elliot Mouse, but I know how to take care of these types myself. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're not the only customer in the club. Whew, that sure is some woman, huh? 
Oui, monsieur, Mademoiselle Debra has a very individual way of doing things, which brings nothing but trouble. Hmm. Speaking of trouble, I'd say that you fellas certainly know how to find it. We ain't looking for trouble. Why do you say that? For a good reason. You mean you do not know who you have just humiliated? Uh -huh. Oh, mon dieu, that was Rat Nitty, the right-hand man of Al Capone. You will all leave this city now if you know what is good for you. Leave cheese cargo? That's absolutely out of the question, friend. We're not here as tourists, you know. We're special agents with a federal mouse hole of investigation. Oh, that's just what we needed. Rookie policemen. So you are the ones. We have been expecting you. And may I say, it is a great pleasure, monsieur, to see that you are honest policemen. So where are you going to start, mon ami? Well, we can't do very much just right now. Someone set a trap for us when we got here. We don't have a place to stay or any transport. Yeah, we haven't even got somewhere we can go and eat. C'est terrible. Perhaps you can help them, Monsieur Jack. Me? Oh, all right then. You look like decent enough mice to me, so I'll take you to a place where you'll be safe. Thank you, Monsieur Jack. Yeah, yeah thanks. thanks, Jack. Upset. Me upset just because you let some rookie feds make monkeys out of you? You bet I'm upset. The booby trap bomb gag never yeah. fails, boss. It'll be a cinch, boss. Lame yeah. brains. But, boss, you don't have to worry about them rookies anymore. Ow! They got away, but we scared them. Listen to us. Huh? I'm sure they've left the city already, boss. Senior Catone! Senior Catone, I've got something very important to tell you. Whoa! What's that smell? You know I hate the smell of cheese, Nitty! I found out something important. So speak! Someone else is selling cheese in our district, Senior Catone, and now no one will buy our cheese. What's more, they even went to the expense of wasting it by throwing the cheesecake right in my face. You don't say! That ain't all. At Deborah's Club, there were three thugs who threw me onto the street. So who were these three bad men? I don't know, senor. I've never seen them before. Uh, except that the head guy wore a gabardine, and there was a fat sharpshooter, and the third guy was, uh... Hey! Huh? He wears specs? Don't mention his glasses, you moron! Yeah, he did. How'd you guys know that? Ha! Huh? <laughs> well, it could be those agents who got away from us. Huh? Now these feds are starting to annoy me. Thanks to you numbskulls, my business is suffering and my reputation is tarnished. And that ain't healthy. Not for them and not for you. Now the cheese puree is getting cheese from somewhere, so tonight you got the warehouse, understand? No, boss, we, we understand. understand. If you do see somebody stealing, don't stop them, just follow them. I gotta find out who's behind all this. Yeah, yeah boss, boss, we'll, we'll follow them. Follow. Here we are, fellas. It may look a bit of a mess, but you'll be safe here. Make yourselves as comfortable as you can for tonight. I'll try and find you something better by tomorrow. Thanks, Jack. That's a big help. Well, this isn't all bad. Yeah, at least there's a mattress over there to sleep on. Yeah, and we also got ourselves a friend of well, folks, looks like the show's over for today. But things should start hotting up tomorrow. Hey, fellas, my nose smells cheese, and my nose is never wrong, and it's coming from over there. Come on, this way. All we gotta do is follow my nose. Oh dear. He's always thinking of his stomach. Hey, shouldn't we wait for Jack? He might not want us poking around his place without his being here. Bad news, fellas. The security guards at the cheese depot didn't fall asleep once. Oh, heck, that means they've woken up to the fact we've been stealing all their cheese. Hey, that means no more cheese. What are we gonna do now, Mooney? I don't know, Junior, but I don't see why I should put my whiskers on the line for this cheese just to give it away. You disappoint me, Mooney. Sometimes you sound just like a gangster. Maybe being a gangster ain't so bad. Well, look at this. Huh? Ah hey, Elliot, Wilson, come and see what I've found. Ah. Come on, you guys, let's get out of here. Ah. Ah. Huh? What the? <laughs> hey! Hey, hold oh, on there! Ah. Whoa! We gotta catch them little squirts, Elliot. All right, you kids, hold it right there. <laughs> Sorry, mister, I'd love to stop and chat, but I've got an appointment. <laughs> oh. 
Will somebody tell me what's going on? You came just in time, Jack. We caught these petty thieves in your garage. They were trying to escape. Petty thieves? <laughs> no, these little guys are my friends. Are you all right there, Junior? Oh, oh boy, I got a headache. Hey, are you saying that you know these guys, Jack? That's right. Don't worry, Robin. You can trust them. They're federal agents. Elliot Mouse. That one's Gordon. And Mr. Wilson. You mean these guys are really federal agents? Excuse me. Where's all the cheese come from? It comes from Catone's warehouse. So you know the location of the secret warehouses where all the cheese stolen from Cheese Cargo's businesses is kept, right? That's right. The whole city knows it. But only these three have the courage to take cheese away from Al Catone. And you fellas keep it all? No, what we do is return it to its rightful owners. A noble gesture, Jack, but the correct thing to do would be to tell the police about it. Now that wouldn't do a bit of good, lad. I left the police force because so many of my buddies worked for Al Catone. Now I feel I'm being much more useful. Well, we still won't get Catone this way. But if we join forces, can we visit Catone's secret warehouses tonight? Yeah, we sure can. The security guards are bound to be asleep tonight. Don't you worry about the security guards, short stuff. From tonight, they're gonna be the ones who have to worry about us. I don't believe it, and Selmy's asleep again. Then he says it's always me who falls asleep on duty. How could I with snoring like that? There! Up ahead! Huh? Hey, wake up and sell me. We got some visitors. Huh? Oh, we got visitors? Oh no, is it the bus? No, dummy, it'll be some low life thieves. Now hurry up and hide. Oh. Ah! Federal agents, this is a bus. Now come out with your hands high and don't try anything. Come on! Should we go out then? What are you, not quiet, stupid? Doesn't look as though there's anyone here, guys. Looks like it's all ours. Come on then, let's load the truck as fast as we can. What are we gonna do now, Skeleezy? Huh? Nothing. The boss said to follow the thieves and find out who they're working for, so we'll just have to wait for a little while, till they leave. Rockefeller, 29. These guys sure have the good stuff. Oh! Here's another one. Robin, we were huh? real stupid to let this Elliot huh? Mouse talk us into this. Now Catone's gonna know who we are! I trust him. I ain't never seen an agent as brave as him. See? Here. <clears throat> Come on, fellas, just a few more left. Uh oh, what are we gonna do? Huh? We'll let our guns do the explaining for us. We ain't got no choice. Hey, Lee, huh? Rose, huh? we can't get in another single cheese. Well, I can always find room in my stomach for one more. <sighs> Here! Huh? Hey, huh. thanks, <laughs> Mr. Gordon. <laughs> well, that just about wraps it up. Good. How many have we loaded, Wilson? Uh, well, if the weight on the boxes is correct, a little over two tons. Well done, everybody. Now huh? let's get this load down to the police station. Right, Jack? Yes, to the police station, because that's the best way of showing the people of Cheese Cargo that we can take on Al Catone. That's right, Jack. Justice is coming back to this city, and with a little luck, it won't be long before law and order gets the respect it deserves. Huh? Oh, no! Look out! It's Mooney, and he's stolen the truck. They're all leaving, Skelly. Who do we follow now? The truck, you dummy, because that's where the cheese is. Come on, let's go get the car. I don't understand it. Looks like your little speech didn't convince huh? Mooney, and he's taken off with the cheese. I just wish I knew what he plans to do with it. We've got to find him fast, Elliot, before he meets up with some real gangsters. He could be in danger, but we don't know where to start looking. But we do, now. Come, lads. We'll search the whole of Cheese Cargo. Great, Jack. We'll head for the police station. Despite what you said, their help might still be useful. All right, if you must, but trust no one except Chief Stun. Despite his defense, the man's an honest cop. Sure thing, Jack. I'll keep that in mind. Yes, do that. Well, we'll see you back at the club. Hey, 
Hey, it stopped in front of the boss's place. Let's take the stairs. Hey, Big Nose! What do you want, you scruffy little brat? Go get your boss, rat. I got some business with him. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you tell me all about it? No, I, I gotta tell him personally. I don't deal with hired hands. Oh, yeah? Well, just who do you think you are, midget? Our cheese oh. thing. Ow! You're too late, kid. We got you. <laughs> ah! So, I shouldn't say anything about this cheese, Mr. Mouse, is that right? Not so loud. They might hear you. What will I tell my men so they can look out for the stuff? Simple. You tell them to look out for a kid driving a truck and that he's too young to have a driver's license. Remember, don't say what's in the truck. Nah, we wouldn't want to lose all that lovely cheese. Give out the info, Campbell. Who are you working for? I told you already, Nitty. I'm only working for myself. It's like I told you. The bad guys took us down to the warehouse. But I was too smart for them, see? And I took off with the goods. Huh. Reminds me of myself when I was young. So why'd you come here, yeah? You trying to tie Senior Catone into stolen cheese? to trick you, Nitty, and I wanted to do business with your boss, see? Well, you got your information all wrong, Hat Pint. Give him another soaking scully, see? You know he hates water. Ah! The soda's on you, kid. <laughs> yeah, who is it? Hey, it's me, Bourbon. The feds are looking for some little kid in order to get the cheese back. Yeah, it's our man inside the police station, Senior Catone. He says that Elliot Mouse is looking for the boy and the cheese. If Mr. Mouse wants to find them, we'll let him do so, but in the right place. It's our cheese truck. That mug Moody's done just what I thought he would. <gasps> Trying to strike a deal with Catone. Hurry it up! Let's move! To the docks! Let's get out of here! Hey, Pierre, house tricks. Give me the usual, will ya? Had any news from Jack yet? I'm afraid not, monsieur. The poor kid. He should have had more faith in our plan. You gotta do more than show a badge to get someone's trust in this town. Guess I'm finding that out, Miss Deborah. There an huh? Agent Mouse here? Huh? Yeah, I'm Mouse. What's the news? Chief Stun sent me to tell you that we found the truck. Come on, we ain't got a moment to lose. <laughs> yeah, I guess you were right after all, Shawnee. The business you wanted to do with us was very important. Yeah. <laughs> so important that we're gonna be able to get rid of Elliot Mouse and his meddlesome friends once and for all. <laughs> Uh-oh. I gotta warn Jack. Sounds like our visitors now. Let's hide. This is the place. Elliot, doors open. Watch your backs. We're going in. Wait, I thought I heard something. Hold it right there, copper. Your little outing's over, so drop the heaters. No, tell your goons to drop theirs, Nitty. It's four against three. You're right, copper, but it's three of you against four of us. <laughs> okay, fellas, drop the hardware nice and easy. Now don't try anything. You lousy double crosser. <laughs> <laughs> we catch an Elliot Mouse with the greatest. Just tell us what you've done to Mooney, you rat-faced hood. Yeah, you don't have to worry about your diminutive friend, Mr. Mouse. He's about to go on a little trip. Huh? huh? To the bottom of the league. Mooney! We've asked everyone we know, and none of them have seen Mooney. Yeah. Hmm. Jack Jr., huh? Mooney's been taken. Catone's gang have taken him to the docks. Hmm. Sounds like they pulled a fast one. And they've laid a trap for that agent Elliot Mouse and his friends. Well, what are we gonna do, Jack? We've gotta move and fast. I think the time has come to test the project I've been working on this past few years. Hey! Gentlemen, I give you the Armstrong 326. 
Now hop in and hold on tight. Oh, boy! Now this is what I call a car. Now let's go and rescue Mooney. Come on, stop fooling around, lame brains. Get him in the crate. <laughs> we can't, oh. Nitty. Yeah, this guy's too fat. Boys, let's fit these nice gentlemen with some cement overcoats. <laughs> The kid's all set, Rat Nitty. This is it, Hairball. Time you went for a little dip. <laughs> Let Mooney go, Nitty, you two-bit hoodlum. We're here. There's the storage depot. It's impolite, but we'll go in without knocking. I got it, Nitty. You just give me the word. Seems we're just in time, gentlemen. And boy, are we glad to see you. Now then, we've racketeers to take care of. Now they'll see what this baby can do. What was that, Jack? It's melted cheese, just one of my beauty's many surprises. Are you okay? We are, but Mooney's still in danger. Don't worry, Mooney. We'll get you down. Hang on. Uh, 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 you know what happened. Hey, get us out of this fondue, you idiot! So, how's everything going? Fine, I've almost got it. Hey, Jack, that cheese of yours, can you eat it? Huh? Look, can't you see that Jack's busy? <laughs> ah! Well, you sure took your time. Ah, got it. Yeah, hey, it works! Huh? Look out! Those thugs are getting away! Huh? Just leave them to me. Let's see if they think I'm fat now. Come on, don't Whoa. move it! Lighten up! I'll give them something to think about. Ha! Huh? Ah. No, no Mooney! Give me some slack, Jack. I'm going after the kid. Need me here? That's all right. We can take care of this. Good. I got some business to take care of. Hold on, Mooney. Hey. They're coming up. Well, you made it just in time. Are you all right, Elliot? Did those hoods get away? Mr. Gordon went after them. Come on, Aunt Selmy. The feds are here already. Stop the engine, Skilly. She move it. <laughs> All right, you asked for it. Go get them, Bill. <laughs> oh, hey, what is this? Get off me. Help. Get off and walk. Hey, Minnie, stop. Have you got any brakes on this thing? OK, Mooney. I'll crack this like a nut. Okay, young man, you owe us an explanation for your behavior. I just thought that since the cheese would end up in Catone's hands anyway, I'd take it and get something out of it myself. Well, guys, I can assure you that this cheese will not fall into Al Catone's hands, and at the same time, we can make him realize that we're catching on to his little racket. Yeah, we had them in the palm of our hands, Senior Catone. There were so many, we were lucky to get away when we did. It was real close. Huh? 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 They'll take the cheese to the police station. Our friends there will get it to us. No problem. All right, see that they do, and don't come any closer, Anselmo. You know I hate the smell of cheese. Uh, they did what? What is it, Nitty? Oh, it was one of our guys in the police station. Elliot Mouse is distributing our cheese to the storekeepers. What? Why, you idiot? All right, now who's next? Me, I got my receipt right here, buddy. Four Roquefort and two Swiss cheese. Come on, Gordon, hurry up. There's still lots of work to be done. I have my heart set on a truckload of cheese. 
Hey, Chief, why is the cheese being distributed like this? Oh, we're simply returning it to its rightful owners. So this is the cheese that was stolen from all the cheese stores in Chicago? Sure, and it was recovered by Elliot Mouse and friends. And why is all the cheese being returned so publicly? So the residents of this city don't give up hope. And to prove that together we can outsmart all the gangsters in Cheese Cargo. So how about it, Jack? You feel strong enough to join the fight once again? Truth is, I found it rather exciting. Count me in and you can use my car and garage. The garage? Hmm, yeah. Wouldn't Jack's garage make a great headquarters for us? Yeah, there we'd be safe from Catone's informers. Yeah, hmm, you said it, Elliot, and no one could bribe us, not with all the cheese there was in the world. We'd be untouchable. Bonsoir, monsieur. Compliments of the house. Speciality, cheese Paris. Compliments of the house? As an apology. Let's drink a toast to the untouchables. The untouchables? Yeah, let's drink to it, guys. Here's to us, the untouchables. To the untouchables! Hey, excuse me, gentlemen. I'm Tino Barati from the Chicago Tribune. Mind if I take your picture? Go ahead. But send us a copy. No problem. Now say cheese. <laughs> and that is how Elliot Mouse and his friends came to be known as the untouchables. In the weeks that followed, the Untouchables laid siege to the criminal empire of the gangster Catone. Get your hands in the air! Hold it, wise guy! Oh, it's the FMI! Drop the heaters! Nice and easy! There wasn't a door built that could keep out the fabulous Armstrong 326. Go! Oh. FMI! You're under arrest! Jack's invention revealed a dazzling array of secret weapons. Whoa! Me! The Untouchables' tenacity led them to the most elaborate hideouts, enabling them to reclaim vast stocks of cheese. Guess we found what we were looking for. Hmm. Great. And when the bad guys made a run for it, Gordon's special bullets were always to hand. Okay, bad guys, think you can run fast, huh? Well, try and outrun this little beauty. Go get him, Bear. Let's get out of here. Move it, lame brain. Oh, oh. Huh? The poor suckers didn't stand a chance. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go get a bite to eat, ball. Law and order was slowly returning to Chicago, but it was still too early to claim a victory. Someday soon. Catone's goons could easily bribe their way out of prison, and the fat cat himself was proving a tough nut to crack. Other criminal gangs were quick to seize the opportunity to move in on Catone's territory huh? as pressure on the Neapolitan gangster increased. Uh, now! Get out there and protect my investment, Scalise. Run our enemies out of town and get those feds off my back. Now move it! One such gang was that of dangerous racketeer Dog Moran and his cohorts Kevin Knives and Sharp Nose Clark, who were quick to exploit the ever widening cracks in Catone's empire. <laughs> Every dog must have his day, but Moran had more than his fair share. Business sure is booming, boys. <laughs> Events in Chicago even attracted the attention of the major film studios in Mousywood, such as Paramount, 20th Century Dog, and Metro Goldwyn Meower. Paramount decided to shoot their next gangster movie on location in Chicago itself. It was to star the beautiful Rita Mouseworth, who had recently been awarded a cheddar by the Film Academy. She arrived in Chicago accompanied by Bushy Siegel, a known gangster and racketeer from New Career mm. who loved mm. hanging out with the stars. His presence in Chicago warranted discreet but close surveillance by the Untouchables. Ah. Welcome, madame. Uh, hey, over here, son. Be careful not to touch any buttons on the dashboard. It could be dangerous. Yes, sir. Whatever you say. Hey, Deborah, I've heard they do a great three-cheese fondue in this restaurant. Nice, huh? <laughs> it sure is, and I'm looking forward to trying that fondue. Hey! What the... Before we eat, Elliot, what's behind this invitation tonight? 
From the first time we walked into your club, things have been going great uh, for us. Being close to you brings me luck, oh, you know? Oh, great. I always wanted huh? to be someone's lucky charm. It ain't that, Deborah. It's just that I feel I... Your three cheese uh, fondue, monsieur, madame. Please allow me. Great, I just can't wait to try it. Come on, Deborah, we can't let it go cold. Don't worry, Elliot, the fondue won't get cold. It's got a burner underneath it, so you can continue with what you were saying. Oh, yeah, I knew that. I mean, yeah, of course. Oh! Huh? Huh? Look, isn't that, um... Yeah, Rita Mouseworth in the flesh, wow! What's going on over there? It's only some huh? movie star who's just arrived in the city and wearing uh -huh. too much makeup, if you ask me. What would Sarah like tonight? The usual. Of course. The most expensive dish you got here. The caviar we had yesterday, all right? Beluga caviar avec bleu. And bring plenty of it. Nothing but the best for my girl. Sure huh? thing, Look honey. <laughs> Always the best. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. My piece of bread fell into the pot, Deborah. Well, there's a custom in this restaurant. The first person to lose their piece of bread in the fondue has to invite the other one out to dinner. Well, I don't think I'll have any problem with that. And just maybe you'll pay attention to me then. What are you talking about, Deborah? I'm giving you my full attention. I wouldn't, huh? Cut the soft cheese, Elliot. Ever since that Mousy Wood broad arrived in here, you haven't been able to take your eyes off of her. Yeah, well, you know, it's not often you get a chance to see a film star like Rita Mouseworth close up. It's natural to be curious. Excuse me, ladies and gents, I hate to interrupt. I'm looking for Mr. Bushy Seagull. Ah! Hey, I'm Bushy Seagull. Who wants me? Well, I got a message for you from Al Catone. Welcome to Cheese Cargo. Huh? Ah! Ah! Sit down! Ah! 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 All right. And who took my car? Oh, the valet parked it. I never told the stupid kid to park it. He ran round to the parking lot, hey, sir. I ain't parked it yet. Get off of my car! We got the license. Good, we gotta trace that car. That thug just tried to shoot Bushy Seagull. Let's get some answers. Where's Gordon? He's inspecting the kitchens, Elliot. Well, that passes the Gordon inspection. It's okay, honey, calm down. It's all over. FMI, you need some assistance, ma'am? Gordon, what are you ah. doing here? How did you get to the restaurant so quickly? Huh? You mean Elliot didn't say anything to you about helping out with our stakeout? About helping out with what, Gordon? We're keeping this guy Seagull under surveillance. That's what we're all doing here. Look, here come the others now. I'm sorry our evening got interrupted like this, Deborah. I was having such a good time. Oh, huh? hero! What, what the oh, huh? you saved my life! Oh, what? Hold me tightly! I don't know. Uh... My sweet baby! Huh? Uh, calm down, miss. You and your friend should report this to the police station. No thanks, mister. I don't like spending too much time in police stations, see? Huh? So I will come with you, my knight in shining uh, uh, armor. I will go with you to the ends oh, of the earth if uh, necessary, uh, my uh, darling. Oh, oh. Don't get any ideas about using me again. Goodbye. What's got into her? Why is she so angry all of a sudden? Oh, who knows? I really don't have any idea, really. Come on, Gordon. I've checked the files and license number 5846 belongs to Doc Moran's car. Hmm. First, an unknown gunman uses Catone's name in front of a room full of witnesses. But Catone would never let any of his thugs implicate him. And the guy was a stranger. That's right, Gordon. And now it turns out that the car this would-be assassin used belongs to Doc Moran. It don't make sense at all. Maybe Moran did it to try and get Catone the blame for the shooting. But uh -huh. Jack, in that case, why would he use his own car? Help us out here, Mr. Siegel. Do you know of anyone who'd want you out of the way? I don't even know these guys. Only when I read about them in the New Groyon newspapers, this is my very first time in Chicago. You can check. The attacks were definitely aimed at you, Mr. Siegel, no matter what you say. The best thing you could do is head back to New Gruyere immediately. All right, I'll do it. I'll take the first train back to New Gruyere, just to show you I don't want any trouble. Huh? Oh! Hey, 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 whoa! I can't leave Cheese Cargo till I finish the movie! Who'll protect me? Will you stay beside me, Elliot? I'm sorry, I have other official responsibilities, Miss Mouseworth. Call me Rita, and please say you'll never leave me, Elliot. Well, okay, we'll accompany you to the film set. Who'd have thought in 
out to Cold City, I find the flame of true love. <clears throat> We've arrived. This is quite some hot rod you got here, mister. Uh, what make is it exactly? Mine. I designed it myself. Oh, yeah? Well, I like it a lot. How much do you want for it? Money's no object. It's not for sale. Gee, that's too bad. What the? All right, then, you cheese balls. This is it. Showdown. Arr, try and set a trap for us, would you, Anselmi? Well, trap uh. this. Not forgetting your friend. Uh. And you two, lift uh. your hands up and don't budge your uh. neck. Yeah, yeah, all right, but we haven't done anything. What's going on, Gordon? I caught him red-handed, Elliot. Looks like they were planning something against that bushy fella. What are you talking about, you dumb fed? We only came here because they wanted some tough guys to be in their film. Fantastic. Uh. Uh. Well, that's what I call a tough guy. Wouldn't you agree with me, Mr. Stronghead? Yeah, we think a light for once, Hamster. I found him. You want me in a film? That's right. Allow me to introduce myself. Dashiell Hamster, the writer of this movie, and you'd be perfect for the part of Scratchface. Chief Gangster, is that will be you? Me play a gangster? No way! Yeah, you gotta be kidding. He ain't got no experience. We're the ones who should play that. Hey, it doesn't seem like such a bad idea to me, Gordon. While you're here, you can keep all the rotten apples in one barrel. Well, I still don't like it. Gentlemen, we can leave for the station whenever it suits you. I've put my luggage in a car already. Okay, let's get to the station. Okay, sweetie. Oh! I got you, Dolores. Oh, Frankie, my hero, you saved my life. Oh, hold me tightly. Frankie, my brave boy. Oh, cut it, yeah? Good. Oh, Elliot! So did you see it? How was I, Elliot? What did you think? You were great, but I've seen that act somewhere before. I'm finished for today. Wait until I change. Then you can take me out somewhere nice. Okay, sure. Oh! <laughs> Come along, everyone, to set places. We have another scene to shoot. Hey, Elliot! Hey, everyone, take cover! Ah, come on, Elliot, don't get the cheese up, it's me! This scar gives you certain character! Cut it out, it's only makeup, and in the meantime, I'm keeping the hoods under surveillance. Gotta go, I'm wanted on set. I'll just find us a cab. Where are you taking me on our first date, Elliot? I happen to know a great little club where my friends are waiting for us. With your friends? That doesn't sound romantic! Here's a present for you! Oh, huh? Move it, Rita! Huh? Get down! Oh. Are you all right, Rita? Okay, here you go. Oh, Elliot, I'm scared! Don't worry, it's all over. Now, where did I see that car before? Here we are. Okay? Just as I thought. Ah, Monsieur Elliot, welcome, welcome. We have not seen you here for an age. Tell me, Pierre, who's honoring us with their presence tonight? Who's the one with the car? That is Monsieur Nitti's car, but please come in and have a wonderful time. Right out of me. I'm cute and I'm cool, but I'm not as fool. Love her. Right, Nitty, I'm gonna settle with you once and for all. Yeah, what are you doing? Hey, let go! Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's for Rita! That's for me! What's going on? Hold it, Elliot. What's got into you? Calm down, will you? What do you think you're doing? I do not allow brawling, Mr. Mouse. How dare you start a fight in my club? This rat thing threw a grenade at us a few moments ago. It can't have been Nitty Ellie. I've been keeping him under surveillance. I haven't taken my eyes off him, and he hasn't left his club all evening. That's right. I'm also a witness. Yeah, listen, Elliot. He's been sitting in this club for precisely two hours, 13 minutes, and 26 seconds. Huh? It's okay. Oh, are you you are right, Nitty. Huh? Oh, sure, kid. It weren't nothing. If this is how you're gonna pay attention to me, he can hit me again. And when exactly did you become a gangster's nurse? Mr. Needy and I have a date to go out together after the show, if it's any of your business. What? You mean you're thinking of going out with that cheese ball? So now you think you have the right to tell me who I can and can't go out with? That's not what I'm saying, Deborah, and you know it. I just don't think you show very good taste, that's all. Boy, that's rich coming from you seeing the harpy you've got on your arm. How dare you talk to me like that, Blondie? Take that! Ooh. Hey, stop Ooh, that! I'm Come on! Get you, you little <laughs> <rich>. <laughs> Oh, no, look, Elliot, I've broken a fingernail now. Oh. 
Hey, it ain't that bad. What do you mean it ain't that bad? It's a good thing the studio took out insurance on me before I left for this dreadful city. What <laughs> insurance? They insured me for several million cheese dollars. Are you people gonna leave my club or do I have to call the police? Please, do not do that, mademoiselle. These are our friends, remember? Well, let's go, fellas. We've got something important to discuss. And I don't trust this place or the kind of clientele they got here. So the beneficiary of your policy is the film studio itself? Yeah, to cover any losses they might have if something happened to me. Friends, I think we've been mistaken from the beginning, but now I know that the object of all these attacks has been Reader herself. So the attack on Bushy Siegel and attempts to implicate Coton and Moran were to put us off the scent. Exactly, I think the studio's behind the whole thing, and I'm betting they want to cash in Reader's mm. insurance policy. I don't get it. Why would they want to claim Reader's insurance when they could make a lot more money with us starring in the movie? That's something we're gonna have to find out if we're gonna prove it. We need to prove they wanted her out of the way, but you can leave that to me, Elliot. I got a feeling I know where I can get all the information necessary. In the meantime, Jack and I will stick with Rita. With the help of Scratchface Gordon, we'll have her under protection all the time. I can't wait to see how Gordon's coming on as an actor. I stand here, that right? Yeah, yeah, that is perfect. And with a little vin, we will make it even more dramatical, yeah? Ah, uh, now look here, Mr. Stronghead. None of this is in the script. I didn't write a word of it. Yeah, I know, but I'm making this change to make this storyline more profound, yeah? Get in street scene 27, take one. Cheese is the root of all power. To have it or have it not, that is the question. Whoa there. Cut, cut, cut. The fan must blow softer. It is a vin, not a hurricane. Okay, give him some more cheese, and we go again. Right, here we go again, dead end street, scene 27, take two. Action! The root of all power. To have cheese or not to have cheese, that is the question. Cut! You ain't too early, bring more cheese! I think I may have something for you, Wilson. Rita Mouseworth's last two films bombed at the box office and the film studio's practically gone broke. That help? So Elliot was right, and that explains why they want to collect Rita's insurance policy. It's all here, just take a look. Of course! Why didn't I think of that before? I'm going to the train station! Hey, wait up! I'm coming with you. You promised me an exclusive on this, remember? Dead End Street, scene 27, take 93. Ah. Uh, to have cheese or not to have power, that Stop! Is... Enough! I can't take any more! On to the next scene, everyone! Shouldn't we at least try it again? We must shoot the next scene of the film. Everyone get ready! Ready for you now, Miss Mouthworth. Okay, they're calling me onto the set, so I better get going now, Rita. Do you think they might possibly take me for you? I guess anything's possible, but I always do dangerous scenes myself. Why should today be the first time I use a double? Now, here's how it goes. Uh, listen. Scratchface runs down the alley with the girl. You tell him to stop, but he pulls a gun. And so you open fire. Scratchface, with a last desperate act of courage, throws himself between the girl and the bullets in order to save her life. Okay, so everyone positions, please. Let's make this a doozy. Wait up, Gordon. We don't want anything going wrong. Have you checked the weapons? Of course. They've all got starting pistols except for me. So if anyone starts anything, then they're going to be in for a big surprise. Good. Huh. Everyone in position, stop the fan, now! Okay, here we go, dead end street, scene four to five, take one. Please, get your hands up, you no good gangster. Ooh, don't shoot, don't shoot. Not shoot, dummy, you're playing a cop, remember? We're the good guys. Ha! Huh. Stay back, you'll never take me alive, you dumb flatfoot. Take him! I hate huh? being shot at, even with blanks. Hey, relax, Elliot, those ricochets are only firecrackers stuck in the wall. Huh? Look out, everyone! Cut! Cut! Am I going crazy? I did not ask for feathers! There he is, Gordon! It's okay, I see him. This is a job for you, ball! Go get him! Hold it! Okay, get up, wise guy. You're coming with me. You're under arrest for attempted murder. Uh, hey, I thought we were supposed to say that, huh? Shut up, moron. This ain't part of the movie. Okay, tough guy. You're gonna tell us who you're working for. Huh? 
Hold it right there. Don't take another step, Flatfoot. It's Bushy Siegel. Yeah, you guys ruined everything with your interference. But don't you think I'm going to let you get away with it, Mr. Mouse? This way, Mr. Siegel. Huh? I'll photo for the press, please. Uh, that. Oh, I got a couple of things to put to you, Mr. Siegel. My right fist and my left fist. I was wondering if I'd see some action. He never left Cheese Cargo at all. He stopped to try to collect Rita's insurance in order to cover his previous forces, oh, huh? Oh. oh, my hero, you oh. saved my life. Oh, hold me tight. Huh? Oh, oh, oh now, now, calm down, miss. Um, oh. Turns out Siegel himself is Rita's studio boss. And when her films lost money, so did he. Will someone get her off of me, please? Come on, guys, help me. Help! <laughs> <laughs> Well, goodbye, my friends. It's been a wonderful experience, and thanks to you, I've been able to finish my movie. Also, I must say, your terrible acting forced me to cut scene 27 altogether. It doesn't matter. It's better like that, just as I wrote it. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Goodbye, my knight in shining armor. I'll never forget you. Yeah, thanks a lot, Miss Mouseworth. Hello, Elliot. Pierre convinced me that I should come and apologize to you after acting so badly. No, Deborah, not at all. It's me who should be the one apologizing. And by the way, I still think I owe you a dinner, so would you care to accompany me to the fondue door this evening? You got it, Elliot, but on one condition, that while we're there, you promise not to run out on any special mission. You got a deal. And that's how the Untouchables put Bushy Siegel behind bars. But the story doesn't end there, folks. New Gruyere police want Bushy Siegel. Existing warrants required Siegel's transfer to New Gruyere by the Untouchables. Already plans were underway to spring Bushy Siegel as key players in the underworld convened a special meeting in Chicago itself. Some of the most dangerous gangsters in the country were arriving in Chicago that very morning. Lucky Cacciano, Bushy Siegel's close associate from New Gruyere, Vito Catleone, and the brothers Luigi and Vincenzo Catlabresi. Say, hiya, Gordon. Tell me, who's the old guy in the wheelchair? Hey, now, shh. What are you trying to do? Tell everybody who I am? Take it easy, Gordon. There's no one looking. Do you know who it is? Ah, well, I don't know. I can't make him out from here. Hey, now, wait a minute. <gasps> oh, 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 ah, my foot! My poor little tootsie! Yeah, that's Don Lupo. He suffers from terrible gout, you know. Don Lupo himself? Big cheese of the Black Paw, the most powerful crime syndicate in the world? Huh? Huh? Where's Agent Gordon gone? Must have smelled cheese somewhere. Will you require an armed escort for Siegel's transfer to New Gruyere, Agent Mouse? I don't think that'd be a good idea, Chief. We'd only attract the attention of more gangsters to this operation. But what if they find out what you're doing? You know they're gonna try and spring Bushy Seagull, and you can bet those hoodlums will have every route covered from here to New Gruyere. Don't worry, Chief, I got it all figured out. We're gonna use a double to throw anyone off the scent who might be following. Besides, I'm sure a little action now and then wouldn't do us any harm, right? Here we are. Open up, Officer Catlamity. Here you go. Well, if it ain't the famous unmentionable, so, Mouse, to what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? We're getting you out, Siegel, and you're going on a long trip to the inside of another jail cell in New Gruyere. Think you can get me all the way there, Mouse? <laughs> huh? I very much doubt it. <laughs> you ain't got a hope. Excuse me, Officer Catlamity, would you mind removing your hat and standing next to the prisoner for a moment? Eh, uh, okay, uh, yeah, sure, if you want me to, oh. Uh, hey, fellas, don't you think they look like each other? Superficially, they're very similar, and they're exactly the same height. This guy don't look like me, he's hardly got any hair. We can solve that problem, Siegel. Well, here's just what we're looking for, guys. Allow me to introduce our double. You can't be serious. Officer Catlamity is jinxed. He brings nothing but bad luck ever since he's been in charge of the cells down here. There's not been one prisoner escaped, do you hear me? Not one? Well, so what? How can that be bad luck? Just try asking any of the prisoners who try to escape. Hold it, you ain't taking me nowhere, copper. Ah! 
Hey, you are. What did I tell you? Sure was unlucky. Well, I still think we'll take our chances. Okay, fellas, come on, let's go. We got a lot of stuff to organize. Did you hear that? Calamity's leaving. This is fight. Someone up there must have heard our prayers. No! Ah! Yeah! So everyone's here, right? Let's get down to business before our boys start getting trigger happy. I agree. So if Don Lupo will give us his permission, we can begin. Yeah, it's the time we got this meeting started. What are they saying? Hey, is it somebody's birthday? No, it's a Black Power meeting, senor. Do you give you permission for it to begin? Oh, of course, let's start. But I get to blow the candles out, right? Alert the lucky Cacciano speaker. He called the meeting. Well, as you all know, my best friend Bushy Siegel was arrested by federal agents right here in Chicago. He came looking for trouble and he found it. That's right. He tried to start a war between us, but we can do that ourselves, right, Catone? A what do you say to that, lad? I think there's some misunderstanding here. All right, it's just a telephone. Calm down, will ya? Now then, if you will excuse me. Yeah, this is Rat Nitty here. Who's speaking? This is Officer Cat Lamity for Mr. Catone. Senior Catone can't be destroyed. So what do you want? I'm at the headquarters of the Untouchables. They've got Mr. Siegel and they're transferring him to New Gruyere tomorrow. Nice work. Can you tell me anything else? Yeah, they want to use me as Siegel's double to trick you and I'm going to be, huh? What? Uh. Ooh, ah, everything's falling to pieces! Hey, Cat Lamity, are you still there? Why is it we can never get information from that schmuck without something bad happening? Huh? Ah! Yeah. It seems to be a misunderstanding, so let's decide how to help Bushy. Let the rules of the Black Paw be applied. Doc Moran and Al Catown should engineer the rescue. I agree with the brothers, Cat Lebrace, but to be fair, Bushy, Siegel, and Lucky Cacciano should be made to pay for our services. Whoever frees Siegel will be well rewarded, I swear. That's the kind of deal that I like. Excuse me, but the refreshments you ordered have arrived, Senior Catone. All right, bring them in. What is it, Nitty? That was Officer Cat Lamity. He's inside the Untouchables' headquarters. They're transferring Bushy Siegel tomorrow, and they're gonna use him as a double. Better not say anything. We'll keep this information to ourselves, right? <laughs> Okay, friends, I'm gonna tell you the latest news, but please, eat! Ah, this is really good food. I have just been most reliably informed that Bushy Siegel is being held at the headquarters of the Untouchables prior to their transferring him over to New Korea tomorrow. I want the cake! I want to add! Hold on, Don Lupo. <laughs> hey, these are sweet pastries. The best in all cheese cargo. Anything wrong? Duck says sweet things are Don Lupo's enemies. I eliminate Don Lupo's enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Fireworks! <laughs> but price counts, idiots! <laughs> all right, then we're all set. So when they come out, we launch a surprise attack. Yeah, there's Moran's goon, so they ain't left yet. Lucky for you, Lane Brain. You know you could have made us late. Sorry, I was what? really sleepy. Shut up, will you, and take huh? off that ridiculous cap. Okay, get ready, guys. Here they come. All four tires are blown. You can relax, Gordon. I've installed a self-repair kit. The blown tire gag never fails. Let's get after them. Look out, Jack! That vehicle's headed straight it's all for right. us! Alright, this is a job for ball. Ah, go get a ball! Mm. Huh? Hey, what are you doing, stupid? Stop sign. Have to stop. Now what's your problem? Get out and change it! Hurry, they're getting away! Well, come on, Nitty. Ain't we going after him? The poison in that car ain't Bushy Siegel. Well, what makes you think that? We got information that they're using a double, so the logical thing for them to do is to bring the fake Bushy Siegel out first. Do you follow me? Come on, 
up, hurry it up, let's go! Hey, Scalise, look over there! Hey, wait a minute, that's Deborah's car, but what's she doing here? Come on, we gotta follow her. There's no one around. It's safe to get out now, Elliot. Yeah, I doubt those hoods will try anything anyway. Huh? Elliot Mouse? Well, how can I thank you for all your help, Deborah? Uh, how about a kiss, Elliot? Oh, yeah, sure, you got it. Sorry, Debra, I gotta go. The train's about to leave. He just kissed my devil yeah, watch. What nice. do that for, huh? He got engaged or something, huh? He's using my devil watch to help him get the real bushy seagull to New Gruyere. No, my devil watch. <laughs> I can't believe Snap it. Snap out of it, you love lone lug. They're getting away. Let's call for the Cheese Cargo Express. All aboard! Come on, hurry. We're gonna miss the train. Hey, wait a minute. I can't go. I left my sleeping cab behind. Come here. Oh, I ain't going. Nothing matters if I can't help you. No, come on, Nitty. Forget her and get on. Come on now. <laughs> ah, quick griping, Nitty. This gives you more incentive to do the job right and get your revenge. Yeah, well, I guess you're right. I should take it like a rat. Okay, come on, we'll search the huh? train for that clapper. I'll finish him off if it's the last thing I do. That's perfect. There's no one around, so we'll be able to change compartments. You just wait here and don't move. Ah! ah, shucks, it broke. This is no good. I'll have to go get the conductor. Well, looky here, it's a 326. At this speed, we'll get into New Gruyere before they do. Excuse me, can I see your tickets, gentlemen? Where's that conductor got to? Your tickets, please! Yeah, you want our tickets? Here! No. Hey, who turned out the lights? Oh, excuse me! Get out of the way, you moron! Sorry, fella. Ah, there you are. Say, you all right? What happened to you? Those thugs, they attacked me for no reason. It's yeah, him! Fed. We got him! Now he can't get away! Whoa! Ah. Mm -hmm. hey, watch it! Where'd he get to? Here! Ah! That went very nice, Whoa! mister! Hey, I did it! I beat Elliot Mouse all on my own! Yeah! But wait a minute, no one else was here to see me do it, and what am I gonna do now? I'm all on my own! I don't want to do that again in a hurry. Well, the 326 should be along any minute. Hey, fellas, wait up! Hey! Elliot, hey, what happened to you? Let's say I met up with a couple of old friends. Luckily, I got rid of Nitty and Scalisi before I fell from the train. Hey, does that mean they know about our plan, Elliot? It would seem that way, Gordon, but it can't be helped. We can't waste any more time. Right now, we gotta catch up with that train. And quick, our friend Ann and Selmy are still on board. It'll be difficult to catch up. The route by road is longer. There's still one other possibility. There's an aerodrome near here, and they might be able to help us out, Elliot. Good idea. Let's get over there, Jack. How's our passenger doing? Sleeping like a baby. Hey, what that? Eh, it's nothing. It's just a dummy. Hiya, fellas. Glad we met up with you. What? Huh? Hey, where did you two come from, huh? Well, we were coming along in the train, and uh... then... Yeah. Well, it's like this, you see. We wanted to get ahead of the untouchables and set up a trap for them. But before we could get anywhere, we fell off the train. You fell off the train? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Enjoy your walk to New Gruyere, fellas. I'd ask you to come with us, but we're going out to Bushy Seagull, and we don't want you amateurs tagging along. Wait a minute. You guys are on the wrong track. You won't free Bushy Seagull without our help. What Ratface saying? Bushy Seagull ain't in that car. And ain't saying nothing else unless we come to some sort of gentleman's agreement. You guys listening here? All right, we'll take it. Now cough up the information. So you want me to catch up with the Chicago Express and land you on one of its cars? It's an interesting challenge. Will you do it? I'll pay you top dollar. Well? Have it on me. We're having a special on crazy stunts today. You can't huh? say better than that, Elliot. Good luck. Okay, see ya. Yeah, just like I told you, there's Elliot Mouse himself. The louse. And now he's going to try and get back on that train where he left Bushy Seagull. 
Hey, take a look, Kevin. It's true. That can't be Bushy. He ain't got no hair. You're right. He must be on the train. So what do we do now? I know a guy at Cheeseville Station. I'll call him and ask him to hold the train until we arrive. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Just let me know when you see that train you're after, my friend. To tell you the truth, my eyesight's not what it could be. Huh? Oh, ain't that dangerous? Your train's down there somewhere, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's there. Whoa! It's one of them hairy planes with Elliot Mouse inside it. <laughs> now I know what to do. Hey, whoa, where did you learn to fly like that? Now, according to my nose, we should be halfway down the train, son. So unbuckle your seatbelt and get ready to jump. I'm ready. Ow! Goodbye, son, and don't forget to recommend me to all your friends now. Made it anyhow. That guy's really dangerous. Uh, hey, Mouse, huh? will aren't you going to say hi? Hi and goodbye. You can't get away. This is the end of the line for you, copper. Looks like I'm running out of train. Hey, there's a tunnel coming up. Huh? Hey, hey, help! Oh, 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 no! A close shave, but another one bites the dust. I'd better get back to that compartment. Hey, it looks like you're losing a lot of oil down here. Really? Where from? Here! <laughs> Two minutes was up a while ago. How come we ain't moving? Huh? Not again. Why can't things ever be easy? Come on, this time you're coming with me. What's the matter? Why aren't you leaving? We got problems, all right. Maybe I can help. Time to explain. Can you get us moving? You bet. Come on, hurry up! It's pulling away. Fast as you can, engineer. Ah, they've made it. Now what do we do? We can't get through this way. We can get to the locomotive along this running board. Go and see if there's one on the other side, will you? Board here too, but me not like ride, Iron Horse. Ah, bad sign! Got your mouse! They ain't here. Where could they have gone? Huh? Were you looking for me? Huh? You're through, Nitty. Throw down your weapon. I'm gonna take you in. Ah! Bushy, good going. Yeah, nice one. No, it's me, you see, Officer Calamity. Where's Bushy, huh? They've taken him in the car. This idiot here gave me his billy club to defend myself from you. <laughs> what a greenhorn. <laughs> I never trusted you, Calamity. So I took the precaution of stuffing my hat to cushion any blow. All right, the party's over. Huh? Whoa! Whoa. Huh? 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 Whoa. Ah, it's a sticky, foul-smelling cheese grenade. Oh. Oh. That's some fun, too, oh. huh? Wait, the controls are gummed up. They won't work. We're headed for the city. We can't stop. We're going to crash. Then we better unhook the cars to save the passengers. Come on. Yeah, good work. Well done, Jack. We're here before the train. Well, I guess that must be a through train. Obviously, Catlamity's jinxing ability is greater than any of us realized. Ha! 
Reunited at last, huh, fellas? Oh, <laughs> Elliot, it's you. I'm so relieved. Did I hear you say Elliot? Hey, are you the famous Elliot Bounce from the Untouchables of Cheese Cargo? Right, and we brought you Bushy Siegel as promised. Of course, he might look a little bit different. We had him visit the barber. You stole all my hair. Uh, hi, there's someone in here. <laughs> With their dangerous journey now at an end, the Untouchables had once again fulfilled their mission. But some of the other passengers weren't so lucky. Officer Cat Lamity, Rat Nitty, Scalisi, Kevin Knives, Johnny Key, and Sharp Nose Clark were all carted off to prison. They forgot about Anselmi, but he made his own way there. Uh -huh. That's Nitty and Scalisi in there. Hey, wait for me, fellas. Hey! Katone was left alone in the ruins of his criminal empire. Since I was hungry and cold And down to my very last time The world's gone C-I-L-Z-Y The whole wide world's gone crazy Go ahead and enjoy yourselves, my friends. With his henchmen in prison, Al Catone is in no position to disrupt the lives of the citizens of Cheese Cargo. But there's still a job to be done here. The fight against crime goes on, and it needs all the publicity it can get. Are you saying you're asking us in the press to help you out, Mr. Mouse? I'm asking for everybody's help. Now, if you'll excuse me for a minute, gentlemen. Hey, just a moment, Mr. Mouse. Okay, that'll be it for now, boys. I hope you got everything down all right. Well, Deborah, I believe we got some unfinished business to take care of, wouldn't you say? Sure, it's like you said, Elliot, you've still got a job to do here. This was true. There was much to be done before Cheese Cargo could return to normality. But the city's residents knew they could depend on four brave agents whose skill and determination could get the job completed.